Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Crash Bandicoot for the Sony PlayStation, and of course this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now it's been a long time since this game was requested to me, it's been put on the back burner for quite some time, and I think now is about time that I do it. I will try to get 100% on this game, though don't make any guarantees. But I will most certainly try my best. More likely I will use save states in complicated areas or whenever I get a checkpoint. Basically the story of this game is that Crash is a bandicoot that was an experiment by Neo Cortex, who by the way is a mad scientist. After claiming that Crash was useless, he got discarded into the beach and well, after a while he wakes up, he finds out his girlfriend's been kidnapped, he wants to save her, and get some revenge. Why? Why not? Okay, let's get this game started, shall we? Insanity Beach. Let's go. Now, there might be the occasional lag spike if we're unlucky. I mean, it's PlayStation, what do you expect? And I'm also using a laptop. Again, what do you expect? So emulation will be far from perfect, unfortunately. Ooh, Aku Aku. I have a guardian that allows me to take an extra hit. There, to get 100%, you have to get every single box. I'm not kidding. Yes, you not only have to get every single box, you also have to not die once. If you do any of these things, like die or miss a single box, you will not be able to fully complete the level. To know you fully completed it, you'll get a gem at the end. Get all the gems, and you'll be able to get 100% and unlock the best ending. You also need certain gems to get to other boxes that you otherwise would not be able to reach. So safe to say you will not be able to 100% every level on the first try. Chances are you will have to go back to get other gems that are colored for later levels. Or you won't get them until later levels. So by the way, I am using EPSXE, so if you know any much better settings for me to use, granted I am using a laptop, feel free to let me know. I mean, this part one is going to be quite short anyway, for those purposes. Okay. There is an easier way to do it if you got Aku Aku active, but if you don't, well, you're just going to have to do it this way. Look for the shadow very carefully. That's it. I should have gotten every single box. Well, save that one over there. There we go. Level completed. Not only completed, but perfect as well. There we go. Uh, reading card directory, whatever. Eh, I think I'll save over here. Okay, let's go to the map again. Jungle Rollers, let's go. This is level 2. Like I said, part 1 is going to be a bit short. I'll probably only do a couple levels and then stop. Maybe other parts will be longer, maybe other parts will be shorter. Who knows? Okay, this is one level I will not be able to 100% in because I need a certain color gem. So in the meantime, I'll probably just get whatever boxes that I can and then come back later. The gimmick of this level is you got these uh, rolling rocks and you have to avoid them. Or rolling wheels. Wheels made out of rocks, really. Another aku aku active. Ugh. There, I need a green gem to get up there. Which sadly, I do not have, and probably won't be able to get until much later in the game. 
<laughs> skunks. Can't believe skunks are enemies in this game. Okay, to get this one, you have to be very careful. There we go. Get away from those exploding boxes. Otherwise, you will meet a fiery end. Unless you got Aqua to active, then you'll just take a hit. And that's not fun either. Alright, a bonus stage. Let's go. Now, you don't have to get every single box in the bonus stages. They do not count towards the level score. They're just merely practice. And a good spot for some one-ups, too. Get plenty of Wumpa Fruit. Okay, so technically I'm 3% complete. Great. Nah, I'm not gonna do an in-game save. Like I said, I got save states, or I can just use a password if I care to. Which I don't care to, by the way. There we go. Because of the uh, strict rules to get 100%, they consider Crash 1 the hardest in the series. Can't say I'm surprised. Because this game can be hard as hell. I mean, there are only certain points you can save in the game, like get 100% in a level, and as well as get a bonus stage. Eh, maybe I'll do one more level, the Great Gate. I can't 100% this one either, so... Why not just have some fun? Some levels will require a massive climb. And I couldn't reach it anyway unless I was able to get that turtle over there. But I probably won't be needing it. Hey monkey, how's it going? Die. There are no monkeys in Australia. Is there? I know there's lots of beer, but monkeys? I don't know. Okay, basically to get up on those platforms, you have to hit them from underneath. You could hit them from the side too, but then you'll just drop down and then you'll have to get back up anyway. So what's the point? If you can easily hit them on the bottom, why wouldn't you? Okay, be careful with those monkeys, because the only time you can hit them is when they're not rolling. I think. I could be wrong. What have I got? Oh yeah. Invincibility time again. Now watch out, otherwise you can get stabbed. Bye, Dora. Oh, sweet, I got another extra life. Yeah, got the monkey. Uh oh. Now watch out for Dora, you gotta jump on her head so she can take cover. You can actually use the shield as a platform to bounce on if you want. Okay, careful. Now wait. There we go. Now I get another bonus stage. How about that? I'll probably keep experimenting with the settings until I find something more ideal. Hopefully I will soon enough. As far as I'm concerned, maybe the occasional lag spike will not be avoided. But if I can make it better somehow, I'll try my best. Now oh, what the hell, in-game save here at this point. So I only got 1 out of 26 gems. Still got a way to go. That doesn't mean there are like 26 levels. I think there's 32 levels and the rest are bosses. Okay, so I won't be able to get these boxes because I need a yellow gem. So as a result, I will miss up to 8 boxes. Which ain't too bad. Um. What the hell, I'll do this one too, boulders. Why not? Because I'm nice. Okay, 
mean, this is a very easy level to get 100% in, but it's also very dangerous if you don't know the track. Basically, you got this boulder chasing you, and it will not stop until it hits a tunnel. I mean, the worst thing you can deal with is basically a trap that obstructs you. Like these fences, for instance. And if you're gonna take out boxes on the road, be sure to hit them from the side. Because if you try to hit them dead on, chances are you will be deadlocked. Like, you'll stop briefly, but that's all it takes for this boulder to get you. You do not want to slow down for anything. Don't do it. It's not worth your health. Yeah, the boulder's coming to get me! Get this shit out of here! I'm too Aussie to die! Done. Sweet. Alright, that's my second gem. So, only one video and I'm 9% complete already. How about that? We're making some progress. So, I've gone through like four levels, roughly. Okay, I think I'm going to stop the video right here, and next part I will go do upstream. See ya, everyone.